said, no, I'm going home. For, I, I want to go home. Mm -hmm. So we had to let him go. And he, he started to go to church and uh, like for uh, weeks. And after that, he went back to the same thing. And he got killed. Do you do his funeral? Yeah, we went to his funeral. No, uh, another, the pastor who was in the, in the church he was going when he, he made the funeral. And it's uh, it's hard work, but it's rewarding. It's, rewarding. it's very it's rewarding, rewarding when, work. when you see when it works. <laughs> when you see a life that 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 actually comes out, and you see him, and he's going to church, and he's going good, and everything, mm -hmm. his 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 life is restored. You know, one that. I was a drug addict. I used to use cocaine through through my veins. One night, I was in my I was in my house and I was seeing what the devil was doing with my life. So I started I started calling up to God and I started asking Him to help me. And when I was in my bed, I felt like in an ecstasy, and I felt these hands grab me and pin me to my bed, grab my neck, grab my mouth. I couldn't scream. I couldn't say nothing. And all I heard was in my voice was. A voice telling me, I want to see you as a drug addict. I want to see you as a drug addict. I want to see you as a drug addict. He said it three times. I started reprending the devil in my head, and he had to let me go. When I got up from that, I decided to follow Jesus. So I, I started going to church, changing my life in the streets. And before this, I wasn't, I wasn't too into the drug, like after this all happened, because after I started walking back like it says in the word once once you know the Lord and the house is clean when you go far away from the Lord and the devil comes back he comes back with something more stronger than him so my, my state started getting worse and I started seeing myself in the streets asking for money plus I had a case on me when I was in this case I asked the Lord and I told the Lord, I can't do this for myself. I can't do this in the streets. So could you please help me? And I asked the, and I told him, look, I want to go to a rehab center because really in the street I can't do it. God help me and confirm it to me. He confirmed it to me once when they gave me my probation. I've been here for eight months. They gave me a six months probation. I've been here for six months, eight months, sorry. And Six months my probation passed and I stood here voluntary. Why appears being here in Teen Challenge, my life has changed a lot. I have seen how God has rang me up, how he picked up my head, my self-esteem, because I always thought I never could make it in life. I thought I was gonna end up being being a nobody. And I've seen how God has changed all of that perspective of myself. I, I see myself preaching, now I preach. Now I sing to the Lord. I've seen how He has been opening doors to me. And I'm really grateful for what God is doing for me. Right now, I'm, I'm the supervisor here. And I'm one of the supervisors of the temple and the Teen Challenge. <laughs> I came from Arecibo, Puerto Rico. But, uh, I, I had problems with drugs, and, uh, especially with crack, marijuana, cocaine. Uh, it was that uh, no tenía mucho el vicio no era muy grande, pero it, uh, I had uh, my wife is pregnant, and I was it, uh, descuidándola. La estaba descuidando y pues este siempre mi sueño había sido tener una familia este y 
como que me sentía atado, a veces quería uh, hacer algo, pero algo no me dejaba, siempre quería salir de, de, de ese vicio, pero no me dejaba, algo no me dejaba salir de él y pues sabía que era algo negativo y siempre le pedía a Dios, pero siempre intentaba con mis propias fuerzas, este, hasta que pues Dios me pudo traer aquí y pues con la ayuda de Dios es que he podido cambiar. Yo he sentido un cambio total eh, porque Dios ha, ha, ha entrado en mi vida, yo era apartado, yo me crié en, en los caminos de Dios este, y pues estuve en ese, en ese camino pues desviado, pero el Señor tenía un propósito con cada cosa que me había, que había pasado en mi vida y pues me trajo aquí con un propósito y yo pues acepté porque yo decidí cambiar, porque yo quería cambiar, no quería seguir siendo el mismo ya que era algo que, que sencillamente yo no podía controlar, pero yo sabía que era, que era algo demoníaco, por así decirlo, este, porque ah, yo hasta llegué a ver cosas en, en, en mi vicio, llegué a ver cosas extrañas que no me dejaban este, salir, que no me dejaban salir de, este, de ese camino. Hasta que llegué aquí, yo sé que Dios me liberó y, y Dios... Este, le entregué simplemente mi corazón a Dios de nuevo, me reconcilié con Él y, y le pedí a Dios que me diera la fuerza completamente para poder cambiar. Cristo manda que llevemos el mensaje.